This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. And in tonight's extra scholarship program that certainly makes the grade, find out about the local program that is paying for some kids to go to Ivy League schools. Getting into college is tough enough for many students. Paying for college is out of the question, but now there's a way for some local students to go to a dream school. Education reporter Art McFarlane has more. Namima Amendi and Ryan Cataldo will soon begin classes at Columbia University. For Namima, the road to Columbia began in his native Kenya and continued through New Jersey's Middlesex Community College. If you decide to work hard, there's a lot of things you could do over here in America. Ryan's road began in foster care homes and through troubled teenage years. I actually was arrested a couple of times for being uh, involved with things that I shouldn't have been involved with and learned my lesson pretty quickly and realized that education was important. Both young men have won scholarships worth at least $90,000 from the Jack Kent Cook Foundation, scholarships reserved for exceptional graduates of community colleges. And schools like Columbia seem very enthusiastic about the scholars from the Jack Kent Cook Foundation. They have interesting life stories, they have interesting life experiences, they will add enormous value to the, the intellectual life of the university. Ryan plans to become a lawyer. There were some good advocates for me when I needed help and um, I feel like I need to return the favor back to society. Namima, a doctor. Being able to become a doctor represents, I think it represents who I am. The guy who would like to go out there and be as helpful as possible. Matthew Quinn is the Jack Kent Cook Foundation's executive director. If they go back and as a result of our scholarship can identify needs, help people and make life better for others and the community, the money's well spent. In Morningside Heights, Art McFarland, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Great program for I kids. Know. There are so many scholarships out there. You have to take advantage of them, though. You really have to look for them sometimes. Oh, they're helping the kids, and the kids are already planning to help 